Previously on the program, we spoke about the requirements for registering a driving school. Today, we'll talk about the operating standards for driving school. Now, let's say you've registered your driving school and your registration was successful. Traffic Safety Council Zimbabwe will give you a certificate of registration. This certificate of registration is required to be displayed in the driving school premise. It is required to be displayed so that the people that get into the driving school will see that this is indeed a certified driving school. Another thing that should be displayed is the code of conduct. It should be displayed in the driving school premise so that all the people that get into the driving school will be able to see it vividly. This code of conduct should also be given to all the staff members belonging to that particular driving school. The instructors, uh, even the driving school owners should understand what the code of conduct entails. This code of conduct is given by the Traffic Safety Council of Zimbabwe and upon registration and upon acquiring your certificate of registration you are also given this code of conduct and the staff members of the driving school should practice in accordance to the ethical conduct. Every driving school should operate using a standard curriculum. This curriculum is the student driver's handbook. This handbook is sold at either the Traffic Safety Council offices or any VID premises. Upon enrollment, every student should have a copy of the student driver's handbook. And before going to the final driving test, the student is required to have at least 30 lessons. The driving school is expected to keep records and registers of all the students that enroll with that particular driving school. It is also expected to keep records of all the instructors that work at that particular driving school and the records and registers of the vehicle used at that driving school. At any given time, the council officer may visit the driving school to inspect the driver training being given, to inspect the code of conduct, and also to inspect all the operational standards at that particular driving school. If there are any changes with the driving school, the driving school is expected to notify the council within seven days in written form to notify whether there are changes with instructors or changes with the premise or changes with the vehicle being used at that driving school. If the driving school does not follow the stipulated operating standards, the council can revoke or cancel its registration of that driving school. We encourage all driving schools to operate within the parameters given to them by the Traffic Safety Council of Zimbabwe to avoid the cancellation of their operating licenses.